has been a long hot minute. Like a really, really long hot minute. And this weekend I was actually going through my just YouTube videos and seeing what I needed to post and seeing what you guys haven't seen in a long time. And I was scrolling through and I went back like almost three months and there has not been a back and buys workout. What the that is not okay. But today I'm coming at you. I'm coming at you with a back and buys workout that's going to kill them. It's going to kill them. And you're going to thank me later. You kill those biceps. I mean, mine are coming in slowly but surely. Like they're there, but not really there, but you'll see them eventually. And in this workout, I want you to make sure that each movement that you do and each exercise is very slow and controlled. As you come down in the rep, as for an example, a lat pull down, make sure you pause for at least a second, which I do explain in the voiceover, but pause for at least a second and squeeze your lats so that you really get the mind to muscle connection and feel the contraction in your lats or whatever muscle you are working. But anyways guys, I hope you guys do enjoy this video and as always, make sure you subscribe, hit that big red button and if you want to be notified every time I upload a video, if you just want me to pop up in your email, go ahead and turn on the notifications. And also give this video a thumbs up. It really, really does help me out and I really, really do appreciate it. It gets my video out into the world, into this beautiful world and I'd love to get to know more of you and share free information with you guys. And also, follow my social media. All the names are in the description box below. I would love to become social media buddies with you, like best friends, like add me on Snapchat, like hit your girl up. Can't wait. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoy the video. Kill this workout. If you do it, comment down below. And if there's anything else you guys would like to see, comment down below as well. Bye, guys. Enjoy the video. I will see you Thursday. Peace. I'm not gangster. I don't know why I did that. What is up YouTube fam? We are kicking off this back and buys workout with behind the head lat pull downs and you're going to do four sets of 12. Now, it's so important to really get that mind to muscle connection. So as I am pulling down the bar, I'm going to pause for just about a split second and really squeeze my lats. Squeeze, it's so important. This whole entire workout, really work on getting the mind to muscle connection and squeezing and pausing for each second as you bring the rep down. So your first superset, you're going to do straight arm pull downs and you're going to move into high rows. And you're going to do four sets of 12 of each. Now make sure you have a slight bend in your knees, slight bend in your elbow, and just a slight bend forward so you can feel it contracting in your lats a little bit more. Now you're going to move on to your high row. Keep the cable up at the top just like you had it before and you're going to do 12 reps of these as well. Now it's really important to be in a reverse grip, pull the bar down to about mid stomach level and push your elbows back all the way to the wall behind you. Take a split second pause and squeeze your lats. We really want to grow those wings. Now bent over cable rolls rows, not rolls. <laughs> Four sets of 10 each. You're going to grab a close grip attachment and move the cable down to the bottom. And now you're going to go about a 45 degree angle. Keep your knees slightly bent, feet shoulder width apart. And again, push those elbows back to the wall behind you and squeeze as you're finishing the rep so that you feel the mind to muscle connection. Now you're going to move on to rear delt flies and you're going to do three sets of 10. Now drop the weight on these. It's very important not to injure yourself. So I'm using 10 pounds and it's difficult to say the least. 
we tend to neglect our rear delts, so it's important to add in at least one exercise to really isolate those and build them up. Our last superset, guys, cross-body hammer curls and wide grip bicep curls with a straight bar. So you're going to do three sets of ten on each arm for these cross-body hammer curls. Now make sure you're doing slow and controlled as you bring the weight down and do about a half a half a second to a second pause as you bring the uh, dumbbell up to the other side of your chest. It's important to just really squeeze the bicep. I think I've said squeeze about 500 times, but that's what this workout is about. <laughs> Getting the mind-muscle connection. So now you're going to go ahead and go grab your straight bar and get a grip about a little bit more and then shoulder width apart. Keep your elbows still tucked into your side. Make sure not to squeeze, not to squeeze, oh my lanta. Not to sway your body and bring the, the straight bar up to your chest. Now I know the last few reps can be a little bit hard and if you're needing a little bit of assistance and you don't have assistance, it's okay to sway your body a little bit, but make sure you're not feeling pain in your lower back or anything like that. Otherwise, drop the weight. Last but not least, guys, preacher curls, four sets of 10 each arm. These are an oldie but a goodie. Build the stretch as you bring down the dumbbell in your bicep and then bring it back on up. So this will be the end of the workout, guys. You have reached the end. I'm so proud of you. And as always, make sure you subscribe as you are heading on out. And the full workout is in the description box below. But anyways, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on Thursday. Love you all so stinking much.